eat well, feel great, and it all starts with on with what's on your plate. And that's the message behind the City of San Antonio's Viva Health campaign. And with more on that is Metropolitan Health District Registered Dietitian Anna Macknack. And yeah, it's obviously a combination of what you eat, but you can't just you know, eat a ton of vegetables, that's not good for you either, right? It's all about balance. So okay. eating in the right balance, and that includes plenty of fruits and vegetables, but also those whole grains and those protein options as well. Because so, I always hear about moderation mm-hmm. and balance. So you can eat almost anything as long as it's not, you're not gorging on it, right? You know, even a, a less healthy food becomes more healthy if you eat less of it. Okay. And, and the healthy foods, we still want to think about portion control because mm-hmm. we want to think about how much do we need to be able to do the things we enjoy in life and feel great. And that's what that campaign it's all about is feeling great. And again, that's one of the, the toughest things is, and you say one of the easiest ways is use a smaller plate. Just so eat you're less, yes. eating with your eyes going, oh, <laughs> my plate's full. There, I'm getting a big meal out of it, right? If you go to a restaurant or sometimes even the way we serve ourselves at home, the plates are large, the portions are large, and typically it's not large in the fruit and vegetable category, if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> and that's why that diagram is up there. And mm-hmm. this plate, I mean, if you really want to get, this is, this is perfect. You said this is a kid's plate, but adults <laughs> can use it too. That's right. We're typically eating off nine, 10 inch plates and a seven inch plate portion is really good for most adults, especially if you're looking to lose a couple pounds too. And it's divided up and that's exactly the way you want to divide things up, right? That's right. And the biggest section is not going to be a big Mm -hmm. juicy steak. It's the fruits and vegetables. Yes. So we're actually going to do a little activity where you can kind of load up your plate in the way that we're talking about for Viva Health. So we got our fruits and vegetables over here, some different options, green beans, carrots, um, lettuces, fruits, Oops. Um, one for oh, the floor. One, one for, for the, the floor. dog there. So. <laughs> and does it, now obviously, you don't want to put a lot of butter on things like this, but it, you can either grill them, you can mm-hmm. boil them if you want to, uh, saute them, Absolutely. maybe with a little olive oil or something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. So many wonderful ways to prepare them. And I, I recommend doing a variety because, you know, sometimes people think, oh, I don't like carrots, but you may just not have had them in a, cooked in the way that you'd really like to have them. I like so to you put a little wanna... bit of honey on them, maybe, you know, and then just to sweeten them up ever so slightly. That can work. Is that that okay? can definitely be something that'll help for kids, too. And it's just about how much you add because a little bit can go a long way with your veggies for so sure. So would that be a good portion? I mean, I've kind of... That looks beautiful. Popped it up there a little bit, so is that yeah, okay? Yeah, that looks beautiful. All right, now yes. get to the small sections, yes, and this yes. is the stuff that everybody likes That's so right. much. That's right. So Grains I've got, and breads. You know, I've got a, a kind of a seed bread here, which is going to have a lot of fiber for you, and then mm-hmm. I've got quinoa, which is an alternative grain that's um, really wonderful, and it can be kind of a nutty flavor. You can add some more veggies to it as well to make it really wonderful, and you know, that, that portion there, you know, about a a half cup for a mm-hmm. lot of people is, is just about right. And you'll know after you've eaten your meal, if you've eaten slow, you'll know if you're full and satisfied. That's one of the other things. Mm-hmm. Don't wolf it down because it gives Absolutely. your stomach time to kind of fill up a little bit, right? That's correct. And everybody talks about that's quinoa. Correct. I mean, everywhere you look nowadays, it's quinoa. That's and that's it's delicious and it's very good for you. Okay. Now, <laughs> admittedly, I mean, I like a little bit of not mm-hmm. only, you know, salt mm-hmm. and pepper on something like this, but butter on there. Mm-hmm. What can well, you do to a kind little, of... But a, a little, little bit of butter okay. is okay. It's, it's you know, when we're eating at restaurants or, or some of the ways that we cook things, if it's got a lot of cream or butter, it's really too much. Okay. But a little bit or switching up with olive oil or an avocado oil or something like that, absolutely. And then seasoned with herbs, especially fresh herbs, are going to really boost the flavor without all the fat and the salt. And not, yeah, I was going to say, not mm-hmm. a lot of salt, because a lot of people mm-hmm. love the salt things, yeah. but that just doesn't really yeah. help you out that much either. And then to wash it all down, you don't want to pop a soda. Keep that as a treat. That is right. right? A very special occasion food, I would call it. it. We are encouraging folks to drink water and not sugary drinks. And that's for a variety of reasons. We're talking about preventing chronic diseases Mm -hmm. like diabetes and heart disease. Well, for more information on this, and you can eat very healthy and not starve yourself, obviously, and eat really good, tasty food, go to the City of San Antonio's Viva Health. You can call 210-207-2722 or go online to sanantonio.gov slash Viva Health. Anna, thank you very much. Well, thank you.